I'm going to show you how you can use WMI filters to narrow down the device scope at which a group policy object gets applied to. So for this example, I've got a Windows 11 hardening group policy object, which I want to apply to all Windows 11 workstations that are attached to my Active Directory domain, but make sure that it doesn't get applied to any server operating systems or any previous workstation operating systems such as Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, and so on. So normally you would just drag this Windows 11 hardening over the organizational unit that you want to apply it to, but I don't actually have it split out in such a way that specific operating system versions have their own organizational unit. I just have all of my workstations lumped into one organizational unit. So if I apply this hardening policy to the workstations, it will also apply to the Windows 10 devices, which I don't want it to apply to. So to get around this, we can use a WMI filter. So to create a filter, we can go to WMI filters, we can right click and go to new, and then we can give the filter a name. For this one, I'm going to call it all Windows 11 workstations. And then under queries, we can press add, and then I'm gonna add the following query. What this does, this selects all devices which have a Win32 operating system, where the version starts with 10.0.2, and the product type is equal to one. So what that is, is the version 10.0.2 is Windows 11, 10.0.1 is Windows 10, product type one is workstations, product type two and three are domain controllers and then member servers respectively. What I'll do is I'll link a blog post in the description which has a load of different criteria which you can use to build out your WMI query. So now I've got the query that I want to use. I'm just gonna press okay, and then save. And then we can see that we have our query that has now been created. If I go back to my Windows 11 hardening group policy, at the very bottom, we can see WMI filtering. And then I can just select none, and then select the actual policy that we want to apply it to, which in this case is the all Windows 11 workstations. And then we can press yes. So now we can see that this filter is being applied to this group policy object. Now there is the one last thing we need to do is actually apply this. So we've applied the scope that we want to apply this group policy object to. So the devices which we want to get it applied to. Now we just need to actually link it to our domain. And we start by clicking the policy and then dragging it over where we want to link it. Now you can just link it to the workstations or you can link it to the company or however your Active Directory is structured. Or you can just link it over the root domain. And I press okay. So even though it is linked to the root domain, it will apply to everything within it. So all of the servers, all of the other workstations, it'll apply to domain controllers. But because we have this WMI filter enabled, it won't get applied to any of those devices because they do not fit the criteria that we specified where the version is 10.0.2 and the product type is equal to one. So that is how you create a WMI filter to narrow down the scope of which devices group policy objects get applied to so you can manage your group policy slightly more effectively.